Hi everyone, I'm Zoe from Telecam. Telecam AI Power Auto Tracking has many customized features. In this video, we will show you the comparison footage when you set up the tracking customization at different values, including different target scaling, target loss timeout, target position, PT limitation, initial position, and blackboard area. In this video, I'll be using two Telecam Vision Plus 4KN with 12x optical zoom to show you the auto tracking when you set up different values to each customized features. And I'm inviting Lacey today to be my model. Target scaling is used to keep the target at the same size, or you can simply understand it as Telecom cameras supports zoom function during tracking. Here, one camera is set to 1 6th, another is set to 1 20th. You can play it around after receiving the camera and choose the scale you prefer, ranging from 1 6th to 1 20th. Set the target scaling to 1 tenth on both cameras. And set the target position to center and left respectively on different cameras. Now you'll see the target will be at the certain position of the frame that you choose during tracking. When the pen tilt limitation is set, the camera will only track within the limit. The tracking limit can be interpreted as the stage area. Now let's set up two different initial positions on different cameras. When there's no tracking target in the view, the two PDZ cameras will go back to the different preset initial positions. The board position or blackboard area is set on different ranges on different cameras. One is wider and one is relatively smaller. The camera will lock the blackboard area and stop tracking when the target is inside the zone. The blackboard becomes the priority. When the target goes out of the blackboard area, like the footage on the right, the tracking will be resumed. Well, this function is frequently used during classes and meetings so that the speaker's small movements from side to side will not affect the audience viewing of the blackboard. The target lost timeout is set to 10 seconds and 3 seconds on different cameras.
This is the time needed for the camera to recognize the target and also the time that allows the target to be out of the sink and be tracked again. Now that you've gained a deeper understanding of the diverse customization options available for auto tracking, what features do you find most fascinating? Share your insights in the comments section below. And if you're excited as I am about the incredible world of broadcast devices, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more valuable insights and information. Stay tuned for the next video and let's keep the conversation going.